this Monday morning of our seventh week of Easter to celebrate uh, Mass here on Memorial Day morning. Uh, normally, this Mass would be uh, live in uh, Calvary Cemetery at 9 o'clock a.m. And so, uh, because of the COVID pandemic, uh, we, we just didn't know how to limit that crowd to 10, so we are here in the Convent Chapel to celebrate this Memorial Day Mass. And so as we're about to celebrate Mass, we are especially re remembering, especially remembering uh, all those who have died in our foreign wars. Uh, all those uh, who are serving our country uh, have died for, uh, for all of us and for freedom and democracy. Uh, all the many gifts and blessings we, 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 we enjoy, uh, the fruits of our, our Constitution uh, of the United States of America. So we, we want to remember uh, to remember today, especially those who have died in service of our, of our country. Um, in the last two decades, uh, especially the men and women who have died serving um, and who died in Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, so we especially, especially want to remember, intentionally remember those who have died uh, in those wars. Um, and so we also, uh, we also remember on Memorial Day uh, all who have died all have died, our own family members and loved ones and friends, and uh, in a particular way here in Jacksonville, uh, all those who have died that are buried in our, our cemeteries of uh, Calvary Cemetery and St. Bartholomew Cemetery. And that's why we always have masses uh, on Memorial Day uh, in those cemeteries, rem remembering those who have died and are, are buried there. And uh, our Catholic faith teaches us uh, that we entrust them to Jesus and the resurrection, and that we remain in communion uh, with all those who have died. So, in our, our faith tells us in Jesus Christ, we still remain in communion uh, with all those who have died. And that gives us great hope today. And, this, and that's what we celebrate at Mass. Uh, we are in communion with Jesus and in communion with all those who have died and gone before us. So, we remember all those today who have died. And so today is a, a good day. Always, to, to, if it's possible, uh, to, if you haven't, if you haven't already, it's always a good day to visit uh, our cemeteries, Calvary and St. Bartholomew, and any cemetery you like to, to, to visit uh, where our loved ones are buried, to place flowers, uh, to recognize um, that their, their their memories are still very much alive in our hearts. So uh, that was that wasn't my homily. I, I have a different homily besides that. So welcome to. Uh, Memorial Day Mass here on this seventh week of Easter, uh, and uh, we're blessed to have music this morning, an opening song and a closing song, so uh, Sarah Wilson is going to lead us in our opening song.
live streaming in on our Facebook page to celebrate this mass with us on this Memorial Day uh, Monday. Uh, we begin this celebration now by acknowledging our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May the power of the Holy Spirit come to us, we pray, O Lord, that we may keep your will faithfully in mind and express it in a devout way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Now we realize that you know everything, and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived when each of you will be scattered to his own home, and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage. I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, you. to the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, thank you to all who have come to, to, to celebrate this math with us. Celebrate this math with us on this Memorial Day. Uh, those here present here at our Savior, seeing all those who are live streaming in. So, uh, thank you for coming to remember our loved ones uh, who have died. So, uh, in a particular way today, we are remembering all of our loved ones who died, um, as we do every day. I'd like, to open, I'd like to open up the gospel a little bit, and we can all learn something from it. Uh, the context is the conversation Jesus is having on Holy Thursday night with his apostles, uh, the night before he dies. Um, and so he's been, he's been telling them that these are called the Last Supper Discourses. This is between, uh, he washes their feet, and he, he celebrates his Last Supper uh, with them, he gives us some gives them his body and blood. So he's having those last summer discourses, and he's telling them, as he's been telling them all, all along throughout his ministry, uh, I, I come to you from the Father. Uh, to know me is to know the Father. I, I, I am from the Father. Uh, the Father and I are one. And, and so the disciples, and this should be a, a marvelous moment, the disciples together are claimed, we believe you. We believe you. Uh, even though others don't believe you, we believe you. And you would think, you would think that Jesus would like, ah, finally, they get it. And, and you, you don't hear Jesus really say that. He says today, you, you say you believe? Uh, this very night, as they arrest me, you will all be scattered. If you really believe, Arrest me if you want. It wouldn't matter. To believe isn't just something here in the mind and it's not something simply in the heart. To believe means every action in my life corresponds to that belief. If I believe that Jesus, you are from God, I, if I really believed it, arrest me, kill me, I don't care. But Jesus knows they're, they're, they're not there yet. It's, it's there, but it's still... It's Eventually, uh, eventually they will. They will eventually lay down their lives for that belief, but they're just not there yet. I'm going to connect that to all of us here today. In, in a particular way, today on Memorial Day, uh, we are remember we are remembering those who died in all of our nation's history. Uh, those uh, servicemen and women who have died for the freedom we enjoy as a nation. We are remembering all who have died in all the, the foreign wars. Um, in the foreign wars of our lifetime, uh, Vietnam, Korea, uh, Iraq, Afghanistan, many have died. And, and, and so we might, we might ask ourselves the question, uh, do, I, do I honor that sacrifice that many have made? Do I honor it? And obviously all of us, like the disciples on Holy Thursday, Absolutely, we honor the sacrifice. Absolutely, we honor that sacrifice. But then we have to ask ourselves a question: What if our country, what if our country asked us to make our own sacrifice, not necessarily of my life, but something that would be inconvenient or uncomfortable? Would I be okay with that? I'm not thinking of anything in particular, I'm just, just asking the question, if, if my country asked me to make a sacrifice, something that was somehow uncomfortable, would I be willing to make that sacrifice? Or would I complain? I, I think we 
know the answer to that question. But I think the, and really I realize we are a democracy and we need to debate everything. Uh, at the same time, we, we, need to, we need to remember to, to really honor, to really honor the sacrifice, uh, sacrifices of many who have died. Many have died for the freedom we enjoy. To really honor those sacrifices means I have to be willing to make my own sacrifice to really honor them. Uh, and maybe that's not the first thing that's going to pop in my mind uh, when I hear something I need to do. But simply maybe in those moments when my country is asking me to do something uncomfortable, inconvenient, difficult, when my country is asking me to do something difficult, remember those who have died. Remember their families who have made it possible to enjoy the country we have been blessed to share. the church, that the Lord raise up holy men and women to lead and teach in her name. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all nations of the world, and for those who endeavor to lead them in truth and justice, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who cannot practice their religion openly, may God grant them fortitude. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our faith community, may the Holy Spirit help us grow ever deeper in our faith, in God and our love of each other. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Dick's family, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they rest in peace and life of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in record of way, we, we do remember all those who died for our nation and all of our loved ones. That Christ may grant them all a, a place of life, happiness, and peace in his kingdom of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, whose death and resurrection has led us to our home in heaven. Please lead all those who died to this very home. For which we ask, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
you are the senses of the mind sacrifice in yours, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all of his holy church. May this unblemished sacrifice purify us, O Lord, and impart to our minds the force of grace from on high through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples, and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us shares in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy your Prometheus, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Thomas John our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who 
art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us holy prey from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. You are Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray and work, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries, cast from former ways to newness of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. St. Michael, be our angel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and slayers of the devil. May God give you the we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander about the world seeking their own souls. Amen. And enjoy your Memorial Day today. Please join in singing America the Beautiful. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for Thy liberty in 